Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm doing a video on the differences between a vaginal delivery recovery and a C-section recovery. So if you're interested in seeing the differences and the similarities, keep watching. Okay guys, first I wanted to say, if you guys follow our vlogs, you know that we're in, the, we're in the process of moving, so I'm having to film this video in my kids' playroom, but I really wanted to get this video out to you guys, so I was like, you know, at this point it really does not matter. It does not matter. So I'm first going to start off with a little background. You know, uh, most of you know, with my first child, I had a C-section. It was not an emergency C-section, nevertheless, it was still a C-section, so I had that recovery, and then... Um, my second daughter I had this past December and I was able to successfully have a vaginal birth which they call a VBAC which is a vaginal birth after cesarean. So I have experienced both the types of recovery and so I just kind of wanted to come up here and, and share this information with those who have either previously had a c-section and interested in having a vaginal birth and kind of want to see what the differences in recovery are. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm first, and I have my notes with me. I'm first going to start with the C-section because that was the first birth that I had. Um, one of the biggest things I want to start with as far as the cons to uh, a C-section is, of course, like everyone know, it's, it's a major surgery. It's an abdominal surgery. So because it is a surgery, it leaves a permanent incision. So... Um, the good thing about it, and not necessarily good, but the, the better thing about the incision is over time, uh, doctors have uh, increased their expertise as far as being able to cut and where, the, um, where they cut at. So you really can't see the incision outside of you personally seeing it, um, but it's still there and it's still permanent. So that's one thing that comes along with the C-section is a permanent incision. The second thing is, of course, because it's a major surgery, you have a longer recovery. Now, it took me, I'm going to say about four to five months to recover from my C-section. And what I mean by recover is the pain where they cut it was no longer prevented me from doing other things and it no longer hurt. Even after, and I've talked to other women that have also, have C also have had C-sections, um, although the recovery ends in about three to four months, even for the next year or so, you'll still feel little tingles or even numbness at um, your incision site. So that's another thing about getting a C, the difference about getting a C-section versus a vaginal birth. Um, now, as far as maintenance of it, maintenance of during this recovery process. Now, with my uh, delivery, I had the invisible bandage that they put on, so it just it just went away. So I didn't have to keep replacing um, a bandage from over my C-section scar. Um, so that was really convenient. But I do know that in most cases, there you do have to constantly replace your bandage. So that's a maintenance thing. Um, so as far as C-section, those were like the biggest ones um, as far as recovery that I felt like were kind of not so fun. I mean, which, what kind of recovery is ever that fun, but not so much fun. And so now we're going to get into the vaginal birth recovery. Okay, so a little background story about my vaginal birth which was my v-back um now the the things that i give as far as cons with the vaginal birth is that um it's, it's specific to me in my situation but I'll, I'll still share it so um me i had a second degree tear and i also had a hemorrhoid from pushing i pushed about 45 minutes so i got a hemorrhoid <laughs> um and so that is incorporated in my vaginal uh vaginal recovery so number one hemorrhoids i've talked to a lot of women who have gotten hemorrhoids that was my first time ever getting one and they were extremely uncomfortable to say the least um it kind of made it difficult for me to sit down to get up to walk it just it was if you've ever had one you know what i'm talking about and my hemorrhoid lasted about a month and a half yeah, it lasted about a month and a half. Thankfully, they uh, it hasn't come back. So they say it's a possibility they can come back, but it hasn't come back. So 
I'm thankful for that. So one is the when you have a vaginal birth, you have a higher chance. No, duh, it's a higher chance of a hemorrhoid compared to a C-section. Okay, number two, number two, tearing. Now again, not all women tear. Many women do, but not all women tear. But in my case, I got a second degree tear. So with that, that's also another part of the healing process when you have a vaginal birth. Um, that in conjunction with the hemorrhoid or even if you did if you didn't or won't have a hemorrhoid it's still a part it's still it's still very uncomfortable um and it affects the way you're able to move um but my my stitches i had invisible stitches they lasted about i'll say a month as well um and the last thing is with the vaginal birth that I noticed in comparison to a C-section is there are a lot more materials that I needed um in order for recovery for example I needed to make um, popsicle pads because nine times out of ten you'll get some vaginal swelling. So we had I had to uh, fill um, popsicle pads, a lot of popsicle pads, with the witch hazel and freeze them and change them and change them out routinely throughout the day to kind of help subside with the swelling and the pain. And it really did work. Another thing uh, that we had to, that I had to buy was like Epsom salt. So I needed to sit in a, a bath of Epsom salt for the tear that I got. And I had to do that during the day. Um, some other things were just different pads. Um, and then uh, it's a thing called Dermaplast. And so they asked that you spray that down there and it kind of numbs the stitching area. So just a lot more materials that I needed for my vaginal recovery that I didn't need for my C-section. Um, but the pros of each one, the C-section is that you don't have any vaginal anything. <laughs> like Everything down below is still intact, it's fine, and it's untouched. Um, <laughs> that's the good thing about a C-section. The good thing about uh, a vaginal birth is that you don't have an incision, you don't have a long recovery, such a long recovery, and you get to have the vaginal delivery experience. Um, but just to say this, now that I've had both deliveries, I truly and authentically can say it does not matter <laughs> as long as your baby is healthy and mom is healthy like however you get your baby here you are a trooper you are a warrior you are a mother and so having both i just have come to the conclusion they both come with good and bad but however god allows for you to bring life into this world you are the bomb.com and it's a blessed experience for you so i hope this video helped out if you have any other questions concerning a v-back delivery versus a c-section please hit me up in the description in the comment box i will get back to you and if you have any other videos that you want to see that are mommy and baby oriented let me know and i will see you guys next week love you so much bye all right guys i just i'm leaving the seamstress right now and praise god he has come through again like this guy 